Welcome back to the Tech Space, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to get the best performance out of your CPU, out of your GPU, and out of your PC overall. So, you want to get the best performance, you've probably heard of something called overclocking. Overclocking basically is not only pushing the boundaries of your computer, but pushing it further than it's supposed to um, be pushed out of the factory, you know, a factory new computer. So, what we're going to be doing is a bit of overclocking for video games for pc performance basically just to speed up your pc and i'm going to show you how to do it it's very simple so don't get intimidated by the outlay of this software or anything like that just know that it is very simple to do anyone can do it and it's literally just a few buttons so what we're going to want to do is go to techpowerup.com download this uh piece of software called throttle stop once you download it, you'll get this ts underscore obsidian folder. You're just going to open it up and launch throttle stop. So you can see it's throttle stop. This uh, application down here with the stop sign and the C in the middle. Load it up, and you will get this screen right here. Now, if you ever if you're having trouble downloading throttle stop, it's this little blue link right here. Um. And if this doesn't work, click show more versions and download that one. But this link should work fine for you. Um, and once you have throttle stop up, you'll get this screen. Now, this is the newer screen to Obsidian throttle stop. Uh, and basically what you're going to want to do is click on performance over here in the top left corner. Click performance, this uh, little box way to the left. Click clock modulation, chip chipset clock modulation set multiplier and you're going to want to make sure these are these two top ones are a hundred percent and the multiplier is as high as it can go now this isn't going to ruin your pc it's not going to shut it down it's not going to do anything um but make it perform faster better and make sure that all of the cores are running at their max capacity and even further so again don't have any hesitation towards this you're not going to ruin your pc um, just check these three boxes, then you're going to want to go to start monitoring right here. Uh, make sure you click it and you'll get this data here on the top right side. Now what we want to do is click speed step, C1E, and BD pro shot. Make sure those three boxes are clicked. Make sure that this is switched to max power, as that will send the maximum amount of voltage through your PC to so that you can overclock the CPU, GPU, and everything else on your motherboard, as well as your memory. And next, what we're going to want to do is go down here, click Save, and then click Turn On. So it'll say Turn On here. I have mine off, or on already. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, all my settings are loading back up. It's overclocking my PC. And as you can see, it's running as fast as it can possibly go um, for the type of processor that I have in this current PC. So if you guys are having any performance issues, this is your problem solver, basically. This is going to fix a lot of your problems. And overclocking is a safe thing to do. Don't think that it's, again, going to ruin your computer or it's going to cause any problems. So once you have this up, basically, Close out of everything, leave it up in the background, you can even minimize it if you want, and launch the game that you want to play, launch the program you want to use, launch whatever you want to do, and it will run at max performance as long as you have these specific things set, this turned on, and make sure you save it. So, thank you guys for watching this video, if you have um, any increase in performance, or if this video helped you at all, please subscribe and like. And support the channel please uh almost at 1500 subscribers right now so i'm trying to get up uh so please like and subscribe give me some feedback if you guys have any questions about performance go to my channel or ask me a question in the comment section below and i will add, answer your question as well as i can and help you fix issues if you have any issues so again thank you guys for watching this is a tech space and i will see you next time